That's how you gonna get it. All right. I right, here come Daddy. What Daddy got? Give me a uh, 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 Proverbs chapter three. Daddy gonna make us move off the block. What you got? Huh? What you want? What you want from us? What's up? No, you don't get no. You're not getting the microphone. You're not getting the microphone. We are on compromise with ABC board. We have a. What's that mean? We are on compromise with ABC board. What's that mean? We have a shooting last month. Okay. That's why we are. All right. That's why we are here. We're trying to stop all the shooters in the black community. Cause I bet they don't shoot where you live. Yeah, exactly. Do they shoot where you live? No, no they don't. But guess what? They shoot where you got your business at. Right. Where all the niggas hang out. They right. shoot right there. Right. We trying to tell our people we not niggas. We the Israelites. That's we right. need to repent and keep God's commandments. That's right. We trying to live where you live. Cool. We want to drive the nice car. I live in the we want a we want a woman that's faithful to us. I we want to take care of one wife. Bring it out. You understand? We want our woman to dress modestly. Does your wife come out the house with with her ass hanging out? Do your wife do that? No, she does not. But do these do these young men out here? Do they walk around with women? They got their ass hanging out. So we gonna stand right here and teach the people. Bring it out. Come on. Proverbs chapter three, verse thirty-one. Envy thou not the oppressor. Look, your oppressor can't save you today. You're gonna need a new savior, and he's a black man. That's right. The only savior that's gonna be able to save you from this captivity is the black Messiah. That's right. Jesus the Christ, the one that looked just like me. He looked just like you. That's right. That's what we come out here to teach you. Give me Psalm chapter fifty-one, verse sixteen, because everything you learned about this Bible has come from your oppressors. Everything you learn about this Bible has come from your oppressors. That's right. Bring what you got. So it's the 50 verse 16. But unto the wicked. Unto who? The wicked. God saith. What did God say to the wicked? Come on. What hast thou to do to declare my statue? Mr. A-Rap, man, you can't declare God's statues. You understand? Neither can the so-called white man. Everything we've learned about this Bible has come from the A-Rap. It's come from the white man. It's come from all these other nations. It, and it came from the black That's Messiah. Right. We don't know God. That's we don't know everything you believe about this Bible was taught to you by your oppressor. Right. You don't know God. We've come with the Bible to teach you, thus saith the Lord, precept upon precept. That's right. And you show hatred to us. You mad at us. You're going to tell us a better way on how we can come teach the Bible like you've been trained. Who gave you the authority to teach? Bring it up. Who gave you the authority to teach? Who? Nobody. You understand? You ain't been ordained by nobody. Ain't nobody gave you the authority, which is why you don't have a microphone. You ain't standing on the corner teaching this, ready to die for this. Right. You ain't about that life, bro. Bring it up. Keep doing what you do until God wakes you up or puts you to death. Come on. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Right. Seeing thou hatest instruction. Look, everything we've learned about this Bible, we've learned from the so-called white man. The same white man that taught us, Christopher Columbus discovered America. You understand? Everything we've learned about this book was taught to us by our oppressor. Hey, Come on. Seeing thou hatest instruction and cast of my words behind thee. And did what? And cast of my words behind thee. Really? When thou sawest a thief. When thou sawest a thief, come on. Then thou consentest with him. That means you ain't correct him. You ain't tell the brother, look, bro, that's not your name. Say, you understand? As soon as the Arabs say leave, y'all leave. Arabs got y'all in check. Arabs say jump. You say ha ha Arab. Ha ha should I jump today? You understand? We gotta do better than that, my brother. You understand? We gotta do better than that. Alright, he don't run this block. He don't run this block. You understand? Read. And has been partaker with adulterers. Have been do have have done what? Been partaker with adulterers. Don't you know the Arabs had us in slavery just like the white man? It's called the sub-Saharan slave trade. Right. They had us in slavery just like the so-called white man. So why don't we have that same hatred towards them? Huh? We're not saying you should hate anybody. All right? But guess what? God has a nation of people that he hates. Right. And it's the so-called white man. Right. But the so-called Arab man did the same thing to our people that the white man did. Bring it out. You understand? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. All right? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Bring what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Come on. And the people, excuse me, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Among who? All people. Guess what? We were scattered amongst the Arabs in slavery. We were scattered amongst the Arabs. That's how we learned their religions. Bring it out. Bring what you got. From the one end of the earth. 
Give it unto the other. Give me Jeremiah chapter 2, I think verse 17 or 19. Hey, my brother. My brother. Get, hey, him. Get him. I'm trying to get his attention. Yeah, the one beside you, to your left. Get his attention. Yes, you. Get his attention. Hey, come over here, bro. We want to talk to you. We came out here for you. All right? For you, for our people. All right? Yes, you. Come over here. I want to talk to you. We come out here to build with you. All right? We're trying to show you how we learn the religion of Islam. That's a lie. All right? We don't worship the sun, moon, stars. Those things were created for us. Right. Come on. The book of Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 2. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places and see where thou hast not been lying with. Right. Because we, guess what? We lied with the Arabs when we were shipped there and we were brought there in slavery. We learned their ways. We slept with them. We committed adultery, fornication. All right, with the one true God. Come on. And the ways has thou sat for them. And the what? And the ways has thou sat for them. Right. As the Arabian. As who? As the Arabian. As the so-called Arab man, the Muslim man, the Afghanistan man, the Pakistan man. You understand? Come on. In the wilderness. And thou hast polluted the land with thy whoredoms. Right. So as a result, we brought that back to our houses. All right. Now our houses, our homes are defiled. We take, we have hope in a religion that has nothing to do with us. All right. That religion oppressed our people. That religion was used to enslave our people. That religion was used to take the heritage, the culture, the language, the livelihood away from our people. That's not our ways. Now they come set up shops in our neighborhoods and we're okay with that. The Arab man say leave. Y'all gotta go. Time is up. Everybody get in their car. They file out. Leave out decently and in order. That's crazy. Single file line. Single file line out of the, out of the damn parking lot. That's crazy. Why? Well, because the Arab man said jump and you said how high. Wow. This is what we have come to today. Give me Amos chapter 5 verse 10. Everybody mad at how we clean up the neighborhood. Why don't you clean it up yourself then? Nah, they don't trash on. Say it again. Nah, they, throw trash in the neighborhood. they throw trash on the floor in the neighborhood. They ask us what we doing in the community. They ask us what we doing. What we doing? Hypocrites. Bring it up. Hypocrites. Read what you got. Amos chapter 5 verse 10. Come on. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. That's right. The Bible say that, look, we already know y'all going to have hatred for us. Because we've come out to do a good thing. And you want to stay in your wickedness. You don't want to change. You like the filth. You enjoy being unclean. You want to stay high. You ain't trying to be sober. You understand? So we expect the hatred. My sister, come over here. We're trying to build with you. We are here to teach our people to repent. To keep God's commandments. All right? We need hope. Where you going to get hope in these last days? I'm here to tell you, the only place you're going to find hope in these last days is in this Bible. That's right. Come on. They hate him that rebuke him in the gate. The Bible said that that would happen. We come out to the gates. They say, well, why you ain't go to the neighborhood? We've been to the neighborhood. Why you ain't go up the block? We've been down the block. Why you ain't go on the east side? We've been to the east side. Why you ain't go to the west side? We've been to the west side. Now we're at the marketplace. We're here right now to teach our people to repent, to keep God's commandments. That's why we're here. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.